Hello folks, welcome back to some more PGA Tour 2K21. So this week we are in the Lone Star State and it is the Valero Texas Open at TPC San Antonio. Now this is HB and 2K21's official course. So I am actually going to be doing it on the career mode. So what I've done, I'm, I'm starting to follow the career mode through the, the season. The, the last career mode I was doing, I was going to do all the videos <clears throat> On a career mode, just go through it, but I'm going to stick to the, the the weekly events and do them that way, so we can get them on the channel. It'll be a lot, ah, I think it'll be a lot better. Sort of following the events. I'm also doing it on my society as well, so I'll record this just one round uh, for the for Little Texas Open, and I will record another round for my final round on Sunday for the society match. So if you're in the society match, uh, look out for it on Sunday because you'll probably see your name in that if you've already played. So let's get into it and get underway, shall we? Now, as you can see, I am on Master Settings and look at Justin Thomas. Oh my goodness, he is so far ahead. Well, let's get into this. Okay. Right, a little bit of a write-up here. TPC San Antonio is a golf resort in southern United States, located in the... Kibolo Canyons, area north of San Antonio, Texas. We'll let Mr. Rich Beam say his stuff first. Welcome to Texas. I'm Luke Elvie alongside Rich Beam and we're in your backyard. Well, very close to it anyway, San Antonio, Texas. And this golf course, TPC San Antonio, was designed by Greg Norman. And it's got plenty of challenges, hasn't it? It certainly does. I got to say, Greg Norman must have been in a slightly cranky mood when he designed this golf course because it is so difficult. There's not a lot of rough, but once you miss the fairways, there's all sorts of damage to be had. Anyone no. can remember that, that is something we didn't want to hear 16? on Master Sentence. I do. I was right <laughs> him. A difficult we course. Lost him. We thought maybe the Coyotes came and dragged him away, but he finally came out after about 12 whacks, made a 16, and on he went. I have to say, this is the most challenging golf course I've played on tour, especially when it gets windy. It's very tough, it's challenging, but when it doesn't blow, it can be a lot of fun. All in all, you better bring it. Either that or the golf course is going to get the best of you. But best of all, if you survive and you're the champion after 72 holes, they give you a nice pair of boots yeehaw giddy up y'all oh you get a nice Before pair of cowboy time, boots at the end sure. then do you are they called cowboy boots if you're in texas i don't think they are they're probably just called boots <laughs> so they've got a nice water park here look at that that looks absolutely fantastic that they've actually incorporated all this into the, the course as well they do really do a good job with the the official courses the the tpc courses the pga courses that must be the car park there. And you've got some tennis courts down here as well. Yeah, so what I was saying, uh, it opened in February 2010. The resort features two 18-hole golf courses. The AT&T Canyons course, designed by Pete Dye in consultation with Bruce Aletsky. And the AT&T Oaks course, designed by Greg Norman, which this one is we're playing now. In consultation with Sergio Garcia. Nice little waterfall there. Uh, both courses are members of the Tournament Players Club Network, operated by the PGA Tour. The Oaks course has hosted the Tours Valero Texas Open since 2010. The Canyons course was the venue for the AT&T Championship on the Champions Tour from 2011 to 2015. The courses and clubhouse sits alongside a 1,002 room at J.W. Marriott San Antonio Hill Country Resort and Spa. Wow, I bet that costs a fortune to stay there. So we'll just have a quick little zip around the course, have a quick look at it, have a look at these little outskirts. As you can see, you've got the suburbs down there as well. Very nicely done. And we're going to jump onto the first tee. We've already seen the aerial view for it. And just jump down here and we shall get it played. Okay, let's get on to the first tee. Now, not a lot of wind. As I said, we are on master settings again. Okay, 432, 37 down. Let's see if we get a nice one off the tee. Ooh, oh, slight fast. I hate it when you hook it that bad. It wasn't that bad, it was just off. Oh, it's going to kick in though. Come on. Yes, nice. 
So after the first round today, uh, you will be watching this on Friday. Second shot on this golf course, Luke, is one of the most difficult on this golf course. A deep bunker out to the right. The green runs away on the right-hand side. A tiny target for sure with the second shots. Okay, so you have Camilo, Camilo Villas, I think that's how you pronounce it. He's at minus eight. And then we have, oh, I can't pronounce these guys' names, really can't. Kang Soon Hun, he's at minus six. Then you've got Jordan Spieth, he's coming in at minus five alongside. No Seung Yul. And then you've got Hideko Matsuyama as well at minus five. So let's see if we can do any better. Probably not. Right. Oops. Right. Let's see if we can get into this. Pretty difficult little landing area there. If we hit a slow, we're actually down here somewhere. It's only four mile an hour wind. Slight fast again now, though. Oh, and it's going to come off the back end. Yeah, the approach didn't seem to fit their eye. Need to take a little less club on that approach. Well, that's turning in. Come on, keep going, keep going. Oh, a little bit more power. I think we would have had that. But we are going to take the par here. His short game is phenomenal. And that puddle drop. Well done. Starting the round at even par. Okay, we have Cameron Champ, Matthew Fitzpatrick, Matthew Fitzpatrick, should I say, Paul Casey, and Graham McDowell. Welcome to this par five hole. I think we're going to have to put a bit of fade on this just to sort of take it around that big branch here that's sticking out. That's not bad. Just slightly off perfect. And that's landed nice in the fairway. Yeah, as I said, I will be playing this on the Society. Uh, two rounds of the Society. So if you are on PC, uh, nice casual Society. Uh, it is on Pro Settings. And it is mouse and keyboard user friendly because we have the power bar down at the bottom open for mouse users as well since they don't have the haptic feedback that us guys with the controllers have. Again, that is just for PC though, guys. Again, a lot of console players asking me. But no, it is just for PC as I don't play on consoles. Okay, that was not a bad shot there. What's going on out there? Down here on the third hole, guys. This is uh, Bryson DeChambeau's next shot. Oh, look at that green. What the heck? Oh, what a putt. What a putt. Let's return to live play now. And here we are with the third shot. Okay, let's just chip this up here. Oh, that is not bad. That is not bad at all. We hit the perfect as well. Nice recovery there. Yes. And we Very should get a birdie. Smooth tempo there on that chip. The well holds. We'll take the birdie. Nicely played. Moving on up the leaderboard now after that hole. Okay, we are tied with Shane Lowry and Cameron Champ and Matthew Fitzpatrick. Let's Adam Long coming in there at the bottom. The third hole. Nice birdie back there. Okay. On to the next. 181. Two feet down. I think we should... And that wind has dropped it right down, though. Oh, again, slight faster. I think there was a big slope to the left of this green here. The left of the pin. And it's caught it. Oh, my goodness. Is that the one that Deshambo was going up? I think no, it was actually. No yep, the third. This Should have paid attention to his putt. <laughs> because it's probably the exact same putt that he had. Oh, bloody heck. What's that? Two feet up. Let's just check, make sure it is. Yeah, it's round about that, isn't it? 20, yep, 23, 24. Wow. Right. Need to try and get it close. What is the speeds? 129. The speeds aren't that. It's not very fast, actually. Let's try 
try and get it close. Come on. Okay, now hold up. That should. Ooh, come on, stop, 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 stop. Ooh, went past just a little bit. Okay, we need this. This one's looking good. Right, get the save. Nice, nice par. And that finds him in a share of second. Moving down the leaderboard, Luke, never a good thing. My main man, Tony Finau, coming in there at the bottom. Uh, Bryson DeChambeau. I've always liked Tony Finau so since I've seen him playing in the Ryder Cup. Because this hole is Even though I'm from the UK. Oh, swing come on. Love there, Luke. Massive fast. Huge fast. Okay, it's not bad though. Not a bad line to bunker there. 81-89%. Uh, I think we're going to have to go up two clubs here. Go up here with a five iron. Okay, that's not bad. Is it going to get the green? Go on, get up there. Oh, not bad at all. Nice distance on that. Touch the pin high, left of the pin. And it looks like not a bad little putt either. Go on, get in there. And the putt will go. What a great display of resilience on this hole. So that puts a minus two. And your step up and down from the bunker in for the birdie. Good job. But you know me, I always have a blowout hole on Master Sentence. What's shaking? Well, I'm down on the fifth hole. This is Ian Walter's next shot. Oh, he's just missed it. Oh, he's got it. I thought that missed. Had a double bogey on the fourth though. Let's take a look at the leaderboard. Well, TPC San Antonio gives you a few chances to get after the golf course, Rich, and right here at the fifth, there's a decision to be made off the tee. This is an excellent opportunity to be brave, knock it off with the driver. If you lay back Ooh, with the that's iron, not bad, a very you know. Straightforward pitch, but I just slightly off perfect. Players wanting to lay up. Go on, go on, go on, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, just off the green. Now, it looks like we're going to have to chip it up towards the slope here. Oh, that's going past. Way past, I think. We hit a bit of a fast there. Ooh, that's not bad, though. Underway. And we get another birdie. Nice, nice one. This is on minus three. On. Leading by a shot after that hole. The lead is getting bigger and bigger. Okay, hole number six. That's a big, massive slope right to left here. Cannot seem to hit my drives at all. Again, I'm hitting fasts all the time. I don't know if I should just recalibrate every time I go to play a game, you know. Every time I come on, if it's been not, uh, if I've reset my PC or something. It just seems to be every time. If I recalibrate, I seem to be fine, but then... Like the next day or the day after the play, I'm hitting massive fasts again with the drivers. It always seems to be the drive. Right, 66, 3 up, so it's playing 67. Ooh, 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 ooh. We've got 75 to 81 percent. Oh, slight fast. Oh, get up there, get up, get up, get up. Oh, oh that's going to come off, I think. It's just caught cool, that slope there. So that's going to leave the chip and a putt for a par, I reckon. Come on. Oh, oh, ooh, a little bit harder. Mm, mm. Straight out of the top draw. You now, I don't know if you um, follow Crazy Canook over on Twitter, yeah, but he hold. held a massive competition, 64 courses, 64 different That's designers. And it was like a, a Volders competition on Twitter. So uh, they had the first, second, third, fourth round and all the way through to the, the final. 
Let's see uh, what happens here. The winner was actually Arctic Furies Sky Peaks Resort. So, ah, 64 courses, 64 designers. Arctic Fury here. came first. He came up against Lost Preserve in the final, which is another absolutely fantastic course. It is on the channel. Uh, same with Sky Peaks Resort. So it was a good competition. As I said, it's a public vote. So it wasn't down to sort of one judge that you do with uh, these other competitions. John standing by. I'm down here on hole number eight. This is Bryson. Bloody hell, Bryson. He is having a good round. Well, some of his shots were good. <laughs> that was for par. Tell you what, there's some big slopes on this green. On these greens. Oh, that is bloody pacey. Oh, I could tell straight away. Oh, I smashed that one. Oh, we need to get this. Come on. I really should slow down and take the time of my putting. I didn't even check the distance on that. I just smacked it. <laughs> but we get the same and the par anyway. Is currently sitting in first place. So we're still one shot ahead from Cameron Champ. This is one of those long par fives. Okay, Good par luck. five. Hard any wind. I am going to aim down this right hand side because we seem to be hitting fasts. Oh, that's going to be pretty good, I think. Well, Just the off the perfect. What a beautiful swing line, though. It's so quite a long one. I don't think we're going to reach it to it. Second shot here on the eight. Definitely not. Again, slight faster. Still in the forgiveness zone, I think. Just maybe just slightly out of it. But again, you can see these massive slopes on these greens, though. Definitely want to be up this top part. So even if we go off the back here, it's actually going to be better than hitting it, um, hitting it short and coming down here somewhere. So come on, we need to get it up there. If I hit a slope, we're in trouble. If I hit a fast, it's not too bad. Oh, we hit a fast. Is it going to hold? It has held. Nice one. So we do have a chance here. Come on. Yes, we get another birdie. Minus four. We haven't had our blowout hole yet. We always have one. And I reckon, uh, I think when I did my last career mode, I was actually in the lead coming on to the 18th, and I put one right in that, and, uh, that little stream there. Okay, right. I think we're probably in down the centre here because it's seven miles an hour coming from the left. Oh, shit. To the yeah, I don't know if that one's going to hold it. My turn. It is turning. Come on. Oh, oh, oh so close. Still a chance to attack this hole from the first cut. Okay, that's only 94, 99%, so I think we're going to be good just going with this club. Oh, that's going to stay left. This one's hitting left, I think. Now, I'm going to have to pitch this up here. Yeah? We'll flop it. Have the right stuff there. Not easy to find the green I think I'll probably go with the pitch though. Let's head to the the only problem with the pitch is awesome it's yeah, quite hard to outs, slow the ball down. Good stuff. I should really turn the commentary off when I'm and commentating. The and here oh, we are that the looks shot. dodgy as hell. Let's bring that right back there. Get up, get up. Oh, oh, that's not too bad. Massive fast as well, though. Oh, this would be a good one to make. It's for par. Uh oh. Oh, I thought I'd missed that. A little bit more pace than it would have just looked out, I think. 
It's exciting. Okay, we're quite a bit ahead, actually. Yourself, oh, those Patrick Reed. Yes, this player is definitely dialed in at the moment. Here we find ourselves on the tee of a long par four. Oh, Rich and Looker. Keep an eye on him. <laughs> now that slight wind is just turning it a little bit to the left, hopefully. Now, hope it. Come on. There's a slope there. Ooh. Ho, ho. Into the light rough, into the first cut. That did not end up where you said it was going to. Again, 91, 96%. That should be okay. Why is it giving me a bloody pitch at 123 yards? Come on. Sort the game out. Let's play it about here, I reckon. Nope. Yeah, about there. Nope, I'm actually going to go full. Okay, slight fast, but that should be okay. It's not bad at all. A wonderful shot and a chance for Birdie here on the tenth. Absolutely, in there, close. Good look at Birdie coming up. This one's dialed Oh, I was turning away. Yep. I thought that line right behind my foot there might have turned out a little bit more. We'll take the par now. This is how the leaderboard looks right now. This size that hotel. Bloody massive. Leading by three strokes now. You've reached the eleven. When I went to I went to New York in two thousand and eleven, I think it was. It was kind of the ten year anniversary well, you can't really say it's an anniversary, but it was the tenth year after nine eleven. Uh, we stayed from September the uh, uh, beginning of September, like through until the 11th, I think it was, and we left the day of 9-11, um, uh, and there was like big parades and that that was going on, and wow, the, um, that was just struck. the building that's um, built in remembrance of um, the Twin Towers and that, that was only half built when I was there. And we actually stayed at one of the Marriott's, the Marriott Hotel in New York. Johnny Beautiful Downing. hotel. What's it really was. Hey guys, I'm down here on the 12th hole. This is Ian Poulter. I tell you what, I never fancied them um, going to the States, to be honest, but the missus wanted to go, so we went to New York, me and a couple of friends with her, and I loved it. I thought it was brilliant. Time for the second shot at the 11th. I always fancied going to, like, here, like Texas and things like that. We'll do like the, the Route 66 run. Right, 88. Six feet down. Come on. Oh, no! Didn't want to do that. It's heading to the bunker for sure. Didn't want to do that. I think that's our first big slow, to be honest. Missing it short there. They will definitely be upset. Get up there. Come on. Get up there. Uh oh. Come on, boy. Stop. On the green now, but a bit of work left to do here. That's a tough Just little putt here. Remaining to the hole. Their short game has been very impressive. They've kept this player inside the top ten all day long because of it. <gasps> yes, you get the save. Nice one. Confirms the power. So what we are, we are on the 12th. Leading Matthew Fitzpatrick by a couple. With two shots ahead. Can we hold it together though? What happens here at the 12th? Oh, you no! Freaking way! To hit a very fast like that, you would think you'd have to. Smash the controller forward. That just felt like a normal swing to me. Nah, that just did not feel right at all. Right. Come on. I think I might have to go up a little water now. Might be too much. Oh, we get the perfect. Oh, that's nice. That is nice. Go on. Yeah, bugger. <laughs> That's inside the range. What a shot. Good shot oh. in there. I 
like their chances for making birdie. And nice. Nice way to finish the hole after that drive. That drive was terrible. Okay, with three shots ahead. Three shots. Teeing off here on the thirteenth hole. I should be good with the three wood here. Tell you what, that is a long par three. It's ten feet down, so I think I'm just gonna go with the five wood actually. Oh look how much that turns. That's just out of the side of forgiveness bar. Here's what Bryson DeChambeau managed just a short time ago. This is how you do Tell it. Tell you what, he's had a right up and down win. round, doesn't he? He's, he's hit some cracking Don't shots, but shot. Go ahead and make one. Don't worry about some of the other down. holes he's played, he's got what, one, two, three, four bogeys there. Is it plus one? Okay, let's get back to the action. I think I'll this probably take them down. down to evens. Right, come on. Oh, I tried to hold the transition a little bit further, as you see there, 102 percent. I tried to just get it past the, the fringe there. Looks good off the blade. But we get the par. That's a good putt for par. You'll take it. I probably should have an upper club Currently with that in chip. First position. We're still holding it two shots ahead. But as you know with this game, once you get to the 17th, 18th, there always seems to be a player that seems to jump up two or three. <laughs> All right, come on. Oh, slight slow and aimed right down that right hand side as well. I think that might be enough. Yeah, look at the slope there. Crap! <laughs> I'm sure it looked better in That's their mind. Not too bad actually, it's a par five though. Now man on the ground, John McCarthy. What's this line look like, mate? They ended up quite deep into the rough here, guys. I'm not uh not seeing the likelihood of getting a lot of this one. Come on, stay on the fairway. It's kicking. It's gonna stay. That's nice. That'll do, I think. So that's gonna leave a little pitch up and hopefully that's pick up maybe a birdie here. Back into the fairway. Sitting and I want to go there. The Let's bring it back to about here. Oh, we get it perfect. You little beauty, come on. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, that one will play. Oh, this will be good for the momentum. Let's make this birdie putt. Mark it down. That's six birdies today. So we still haven't had a blowout yet. We're doing well. Oh, please. This 18th it usually kills me. When we get to it. We're on 15th. Right, down this right hand side again here. Oh, again, slight into the slow. Oh, sugar. There's quite a flat looking bunker though, so we should get a good now, give us a small update. I'm over here on the sixth angle coming out of it. Ian Poulter just about ready to hit. Getting ready to play their third. Ooh. Oh, he's got it in. Nice one. Mark that down in the oh yeah, another thing I haven't actually talked about it since it came out. What do you think about EA coming now. back to golf? And from the bunker here. I don't know. I think they sort of missed the boat on it, to be honest. Let's go up two clubs, I think. Ooh, hold on. 180, so it's playing around about 184. I might have to go up three clubs here. It all depends how they tackle the game. Is it going to be too arcadey? Are they going to have an arcadey sort of mode and a sim sort of mode? Because I actually stopped playing Tiger Woods games quite a few years ago. I uh, just... To me, I would rather play something like everybody's going for hot shots or something because that's what it sort of turned out to be like. When I mean, you got the, the spin in the air and all this kind of crap hitting over the top of the um, aircraft carriers and all that kind of stuff. I mean, I know that they had the, the PJ209 as well, but there's just too much arcadiness to it. And then your microtransactions as well. This could be our first bird, uh, bogey here. Yeah. 
this is a good get chance. in yes but again it will look absolutely beautiful no doubt they'll, they'll use an updated version of the frostbite engine which is a fantastic looking engine this is quality play still on top of the leaderboard now the good thing about it three holes remaining this is what it's all about time to see who is going to get it done what i was going to say the good thing about it i think let's see how you handle the 16th hole only one other place I can think of, and that is the sixth at Riviera. A All right, Rich, shut the fuck up. The sixth, <laughs> <with> <laughs> <pardon me. laughs> Watch out for the one right in Excuse the my French there. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, what was I going to say? Ah, right. I think because EA are coming back into it, I reckon 2K22 or 23, they might have just went with the Unity engine again. But I think No and EA are going to be using their Frostbite engine and how good the Frostbite engine can look. I think they're going to have to up the game yeah, with the way this for. looks. They've got the oh, gameplay there. Shorty Baker on that action there. They've got the course designer. They've got a good following. Oh, get in! Get in! Oh, yeah, that little beauty! You see that? That actually held. Great stopped work. right on the, the lip of the, the hole there and just dropped Let's take another look. it's like Tiger Woods 16th at Augusta wasn't it <laughs> you see this it just sort of stops and drops oh you little beauty I'm going to save that one. <gasps> oh shit I pressed skip damn it Managing to maintain their position on the leaderboard after let me see if I can I want to save that go, Luke. Can let me have a quick look on. Excuse me, guys. Yeah, there we go. You play options. Shelf in for two. So that was quite a nice little chip, that. <laughs> Alright, come on, get out of there. Sorry about that, guys. Oh, we could reach the green here. Oh, come on. Oh, fast again. That's going to hit that bit of a slope and kick down towards the bunker, I think. Oh, that's not bad, actually. That'll do from there. Okay, 25, 9 up. Let's play 20. Okay. Oh yes, that'll do. That'll do. Lovely. Oh, that's outstanding. Another great shot by our leader. Be nice to see this one go down. Let's see if they make it. Oh, what a performance! Eight, eight under. Master sense. I haven't had a blowout. I haven't had a bogey. Get in there. Our leader is out in front by a whopping five strokes. Two this. holes to go, Luke. Can they hang on? This better not do it. I'm telling you. And a chance to ice the tournament here, holding the lead, playing the last. Oh shit! That goes to slow again. Now it looked like there's a bit of a side hill there. It might kick off it. Come on. Well, this should be unpredictable. Ah, uh, damn it. That might work in our favour actually, there. because I'm not actually well, going to be taken over McCarthy here. Would have a better look at this. How's it lying? So what I'm going to do is they punch it up into here. Some deep, deep rough here, fellas. Let's watch. Let's see what they can well, do. Well, kind of a punch shot. Even though we don't have a proper punch shot, but this is how we do them. Oh, get the perfect as well. Get in there. That should bounce up there quite a bit. And now we're not actually going over the top of the water with a three wood or a five wood or whatever. So yes, come on. Now I do think it's playing around about 148. So I am going to have to go up club here. I think we're pretty good. Oh, get the perfect. Yeah, Get up there. Good. Oh, 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 just went over the back. But that is going to be good for me. Chip up and par. 
couldn't that's all we need to do here. Come on. Missing it long with that approach. Oh, that's in. A good lead. <gasps> oh, you son of a. Oh, so close. So that was nice. That was a good round of golf, guys. Eight under, no bogeys, no blowout hole that I usually have. Very, very happy with that. Even though I was a bit all over the place off the tee. And they know it, and I gotta say that I'm a little jealous right now, Luke, because the champion gets a nice pair of boots and a beautiful, sexy pair of boots. They are a little jealous, but you know, I got a bunch of pair at my house too. So I'm Luke Elvey. That is a nice Luke, trophy. And on behalf of all the hardworking folks at HB Studios, it's goodbye for now. That is a very nice trophy. So, there you go guys, that is a Villero Texas Open at TPC San Antonio. I hope you enjoyed that. Now, don't forget, I will be recording my society match on Sunday, the final round. So, I hope you enjoy that as well. But look at that. Nice. Ha <laughs> ha! Patrick Reed, Justin Thomas, nowhere to be seen now. So, again guys, thanks for watching. I will catch you again next time. And don't forget, stay safe.